Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Bloom's Tower Defense 6. Uh, sorry for not uploading on Friday and I don't know maybe did I miss Thursday? I don't remember. Um, but I was a little busy and whatnot. Oh okay great. Um, I was kind of hoping this would be a short one uh, because I wasn't really sure how much time I had to uh, actually record an episode today. So hmm. uh, I guess I'll yeah put it here because uh, whenever I'm trying to place a, a monkey apprentice uh, especially if it's the first one I'm gonna place I generally want to use it as a shimmer monkey and put it near the beginning of the map however is this fast forward no yeah okay. um, however I feel like I probably need it to be here so that it's actually able to pop everything um, let's see <laughs> part of me wants to use the ice monkey as um, as my anti Moab, uh, specifically by getting its fifth tier upgrade, which um, I don't think is going to happen, considering uh, you know I'm on easy. Uh, so this mode is going to be the easy standard, whatever. Only 40 rounds. Don't really need to worry about anything. The basic thing I need to worry about, or like the only thing I need to worry about, is camo and lead. Um, and sorry if that was kind of loud for you guys. Got to turn down the volume on my computer. Um, but the only things I need to worry about are camo and lead, really, because a single Moab shouldn't be too difficult. Um, although now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not. I don't think I'm going to be able to get an arcane spike. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But um, now that right now I don't have any actual upgrades on my monkeys. Uh, let me put it about here. That way, uh, I like the idea of my uh, Gwendolyn using um, that, uh, what's it called? It's like the fire power up, uh, fire up probably, uh, heat it up. Um, so it adds fire to the attacks of the nearby monkeys. I like the idea of that, um, that uh, ability affecting the uh, ice monkey, <laughs> having like ice fire. Uh, I think that's pretty funny, but um, <clears throat> let's see. So I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need this wizard monkey. That's what it's called. Uh, has it always been wizard monkey? I could have sworn it was monkey apprentice. Maybe they just changed the name uh, for Blue Star Defense Six. But anyways, um, so the wizard monkey. Now that I can finally call it the right name, um, I really just need it to have camo detection. If I can get it to an arcane spike, that should be pretty good. Um, my uh, my ice monkey, I kind of just have it there because, just because, because um, I feel like using it since it's, I only have three towers that I can use. Uh, but, ooh, actually, I just realized uh, purple balloons are going to be a bit of an issue unless I upgrade my um, what should call it? My ice monkey. I'm actually not entirely sure if. Uh, that's gonna help. Uh, because purple balloons, I know that they resist magic and fire, so my wizard monkey and Gwendolyn uh, aren't gonna do very much damage to the, uh, whatchamacallit, um, to the purple balloons. However, I'm pretty sure they're not immune to magic and fire, they're just resistant to it, which is kind of an interesting concept. Um, but I don't know it, how that affects ice, uh, so that'll be interesting. Pretty sure if I give it the cryo cannon, I should be okay. Um, so arcane blast and arcane mastery. There we go. Now it's going to be much better. Um, let's see. What round does the purple balloon uh, first appear? I've never really paid attention to that because normally I have something that can pop purple balloons pretty easily. Uh, so I've never really had to worry about it. Oh, and uh, Gwendolyn's little fire pit thingy, the, mo <laughs> the muscle top cocktail as I like to call it. Um, it can pop camel balloons. Okay, so round 25. That's, uh, dang. Um, so that's where they first appear. And my uh, ice monkey, if I was actually paying attention, I probably could have upgraded it to the cryo cannon. Um, so it was able to pop it, so that's good. Um, let's see, do I want to go for icicles? Probably. That'd probably be 
a decent upgrade rather than just going for another ice cannon. Or, uh, I guess that's what it would be called. Um, also, I know that for the ice monkey, their top path is what allows them to pop lead, even though they normally can pop regular balloons, which, if I think, er, I think, if I'm correct, that's what it is. Um, but adding the fire from Gwendolyn uh, actually helps them uh, pop the lead anyways, which I think is pretty cool. And then I'm pretty sure, yeah, I guess that would make sense. The uh, fire can pop uh, zebra balloons, or also black balloons, I believe, if, if that works the way I'm thinking, uh, because it's not specifically explosions, they're just fire, which uh, is kind of an interesting distinction to make. I guess that does make sense because the wizard monkey uses fire as its attack, so I guess fire is counted more like magic rather than explosions. Um, so adding that fire attack to the ice monkey, I believe, is what allows it to pop the zebra balloons. Uh, but then that's interesting that it doesn't affect the purple balloons. Like, shouldn't adding the fire effect to the ice monkey stop it? Or does it do both? Does it do the ice effect and the fire effect? That is an interesting thing to think about. Uh, at least in my opinion. Also, I should probably upgrade it to icicles. Like I said, I was going to. Um, let's see. So I've only got like four rounds. And I need like 4,000 more uh, <laughs> cash to upgrade that. Or I can just build like two or three more uh, wizard monkeys. So this should be interesting. Um, I don't know if my ice monkey can already pop uh, Moab balloons or hit Moab balloons. Because this, the Icicle Impale, uh, shoots huge Icicle Spikes that do huge damage to Moab class balloons and freezes them. Um, obviously that one does damage to the Moab class balloons. I don't know uh, if it can regularly attack Moab class balloons. I am really close though to, um, to getting the Arcane Spike, so I should be fine actually. Yeah, so this is probably one of the easiest... Um, one of the easiest uh, daily challenges that I've had to do, uh, which is pretty interesting. That took like what, uh, almost eight minutes. So you know what? Just to prove to myself and to you guys, I guess, that I have done it. I mean, there it does say that I have done it, I guess. Um, I'll do primary only. Let's see about that. A uh, primary only on ouch. That should be difficult because the only way I did it last time was with uh, some ice monkeys. Now the thing that's really interesting about this, and some of you have probably already beaten this, probably on like Impopable or whatever, so you're probably not going to be very impressed or whatever. Um, the thing that I find very interesting is that there's no one choke point. Unless you have a really good buccaneer or something. Uh, I don't think there's a single lane or a single spot that you can just uh, focus to. Wait a second. What? You can remove that? That makes so much sense. But you can place towers in it. That's strange. Huh. Um, but anyways. So technically each of these monkeys only have to pop half of the balloons because of the way that the lanes come down, uh, which is pretty interesting. But then, on the other hand, half of the balloons are also, like, they're, ro they're uh, alternating between each uh, lane. So they're kind of only needing to pop, like, a fourth of the balloons. When you think about it, kind of. Um, so they should be okay for the most part. I'm going to leak a couple balloons, obviously. Um, but yeah, th this is a very interesting... Uh, track because uh, obviously it's one of the harder ones I mean the hardest one uh, personally I think this one's harder than the previous one I don't know if that's like common um, common opinion or whatever but uh, this one I feel like it's easier because it is just two different choke points essentially that I have to worry about um, and I probably should have used tack towers maybe I don't know um, let's see I want to use Oban because I know that he would be useful and maybe mm, that range isn't quite big enough. Um, I don't know. I feel like my best bet, especially on easy, is just to go for like a bunch of dart monkeys and then maybe like a glue gunner or two. 
um, or I guess maybe like a boomerang thrower uh, to deal with like ceramics, I mean uh, leads, because uh, lead balloons, or specifically the juggernaut, uh, is a little bit expensive, and I don't want to buy two of them in order to deal with leads. So, let's see. I don't want to use a glue gunner. Well, actually, let's see. Because uh, the glue gunner... Can the glue gunner reach across both of those? Let me get the thing to be red. No, yep, yep. Almost. Uh, I can't actually tell 100%. If that reaches both sides. Yes, yes it does. Okay. <laughs> so I'll give it corrosive glue. And I guess the bigger globs and the glue splatter. Uh, that's what I want to get at least. Um, and then again on this side. So that I know um, I can pop a lead. And I've got the camo detection because of the, uh, <clears throat> because of the dart monkeys. So that should be fine. Um, now I know I've been leaking some lives, but I haven't been leaking too many because of that. I still have my 25 lives, uh, my 25 extra lives, and uh, the 200 regular lives, I guess. Um, so I should be okay there. 1700 would be a decent upgrade to get. Uh, dang, now I am losing more lives. Could just get another crossbow monkey. Um, Obviously, I'm going to need another one over here, or I can place it right there. Uh, so, let's see. I probably, I, I feel like I should use a uh, triple shot as well as a crossbow, um, just because I'm sure that they have their different strengths and weaknesses. But uh, I feel like at this point, two crossbow monkeys, specifically two crossbow monkeys would be more effective, in my opinion, here, because... Um, because the balloons are less clumped together. Like they're a fourth as clumped as they should be, basically, um, due to how this whole map works, basically. Um, so that's also why I'm not too worried about not getting the glue splatter yet. Uh, let's see, let's see. Because I should be able to hit all of those, um, all of those balloons. But uh, just to be safe, I'll get, well, not really to be safe, I guess. But um, to add variety, I'll add some triple darts. And I don't really worry too much about uh, the sharp shots, especially on this map, but just in general, I don't worry about it. Um, because I feel like if they can attack faster and they can take down multiple layers, then I'm not that concerned with how many they pierce through. Plus, um, one of the monkey knowledges that I have uh, gives them like plus one pierce, I think. I could be remembering that incorrectly, but um, I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Now, what I just realized is I have nothing to defend against a Moab. Um, I'm not even sure which one exactly will come down. I think the uh, like the the left side of the screen on top. I don't want to say the top left because, in my opinion, that means the one on the top of the screen on the left. But anyways, the left top, I guess. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the one the Moab is going to come down. And I don't think two crossbow monkeys are going to be enough. Um, let's see. I'm going to get a uh, bomb shooter. And let's see. I should be able to get the Moab Assassin. I don't know <clears throat> if I'm going to be able to break the ceramics out of this. Um, I don't really care about the other upgrades <laughs> because I'm just going for that assassin ability so I can just break the Moab layer real quick. Um, but I do like the heavy bombs. So let's see if this is going to work. Uh, and I was wrong about what side it came down and I technically leaked a lot of balloons <laughs> but I technically won. So definitely not a no life lost strategy of course and uh, <laughs> that's funny. Um, if I was going to redo that, let's see, well, especially if I was going like all in on this specific map on easy primary only or whatever, I would probably get ready to sell like all my other crossbow monkeys and like the extra glue gunner I didn't need and then buff the, uh, the other crossbow monkeys that I do need and I don't know, maybe the, get a better glue to, uh, gloon, 
uh, glue balloon dissolver or whatever. Uh, that probably would have been useful. But uh, anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.